Hey guys, so before we get into this video, which by the way, due to my schedule being flipped around and it being super hot out lately, um, it's really the only video I've been able to make recently. So sorry about that, but this was obviously pre-recorded at the same time as my last World of Warcraft episode. And so naturally, I didn't say some things that need to be said about, you know, recent events. I probably should have made a separate video about this, but I didn't really want it to go out to a wider audience, potentially. I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys. I'm sure most of you have heard about the lawsuit against Blizzard and their treatment of women that work there. If not, I will leave a link below for you to catch yourself up. It is pretty serious though, be warned. Yeah, we, we really need to talk about that. My heart is absolutely broken for these women, but I'm also really, really angry. There have been so many people expressing shock about what has happened, which to that I say, really? Have you really not been listening at all? This is a huge problem within the game industry, within gaming communities as a whole, and really just a problem everywhere. And I by no means say that to shrug off the experiences of these women. I say that because it really needs to change. This is a problem that women have been telling the world about and we keep getting told that we're over exaggerating or that we're too sensitive over and over. And this is our cruel reality. It doesn't matter what we're doing. I couldn't even begin to list all of the harassment, all the abuse I've received throughout my life, especially after being online for so long. All for just the crime of being a woman. I've been harassed simply for being in a car next to a man. I've been scared he would follow me home. I've been harassed by dudes on the roof of their own house while I was in my parents' backyard just minding my own business. Just for existing. And I could go on for hours. <laughs> so naturally over everything happening, I know a lot of people are calling for a boycott of Blizzard games right now. Which I understand the thoughts behind, and if that's what you feel you should do, then do it. I'm not here to tell you <laughs> not to or anything. Like, this isn't the only terrible thing Blizzard has done over the years. But personally, I don't see it as the answer to this. Especially when it's become clear that the people yelling about boycotting aren't really listening to the women that are developing these games. Big shocker, I know. When I was trying to gather my thoughts on all of this, I went to the Twitters of the women that experienced this to better understand them. And the ones that had posted on what we need to do, like any stance on that whatsoever, seemed to have the same opinion as my gut feeling. All the boycott is going to do is further harm them. The women still made this game. The women still made this game. They still need a job and they still are proud of their work. So the answer is to make them lose that job? When over and over these women have been telling us that this is a problem in the industry everywhere, we should just send them somewhere else if they can even find another job? The answer is for most people that actually do care to just leave these communities, to leave them to the ones that don't, to the ones causing all the harm. I just personally don't really see how that'll help. If a company who's higher-ups have been harassing their workers, who do you think's the first ones they're gonna let go? The victims they're trying to silence. I do absolutely hope the lawsuit scrubs the floors clean of all this filth. It needs to happen. Blizzard needs to be made an example of. I think that's perfectly fair. Just wipe out all the filth so all the filth in the other companies maybe catch a hint. But what I think the best thing that we can do and what I should do is we need to listen, we need to stand up, and we need to speak out. We would have to drop pretty much every game, every movie, just any and everything that we've ever enjoyed if we didn't want to support a company that treated their women like this or treated their workers as a whole like shit. We know that's a problem lately. We need to make the atrocities at Blizzard known, but we can't stop there. We can't just abandon ship. Stand up for people, especially the women around you, especially for the women in games, even if they're not in the game with you, even if they're not around. The passiveness at Blizzard that allowed this to happen is a huge problem and is what allows these abusive behaviors to exist within society in the first place. If you claim you don't see it, you need to open your eyes. It's the jokes you tolerate. It's the way you and your friends talk about women. 
it's what happens behind closed doors with the people you tolerate that sort of behavior from. It's depressing how many men just allow that sort of behavior. It's like, ooh, one want to be branded a simp for speaking out, would ya? That'd be terrible. It's this passiveness that allows women to keep being hurt. And I hate to say it, but there's a lot of people that watch my channel that need to change their own nasty behavior. If any of what I'm about to say offends you, or if anything I've said at all has offended you, then yeah, congratulations, you are part of the problem, and you should work to fix that and reflect on why it offends you. I've reached my limit on this sort of shit, to be honest. I've hardly been able to record for a long time now just because I'm sick of how I'm treated for no reason. I just don't have the energy for this anymore, so if you even try to argue, I will probably just ban you. I just don't have time for that. And if you try to cry, not all men, maybe put that energy into the men that are rather than proving you are one of these men by ignoring the problems that women are facing to stroke your own ego. You think any of us would have boyfriends or any male friends at all if we thought all men were like that? Stupid. If you see me for my gender, or you only watch me because you think I'm beautiful, not the actual creations, unsubscribe from me. I don't want that here. If you think that women into gaming are rare, unicorns that have to be treated as such, Learn to actually talk to people, make some fucking friends, and don't put them on a pedestal. I like to think I had a good amount of friends in high school, just growing up in general, a lot of which, most of which were women. All of them loved games just as much as I do. Have you considered maybe these women just don't feel comfortable talking to you because you think like that? I certainly don't. If you feel the need to treat any and all social media websites like Tinder, only follow or watch women because you find them dateable and think you need to tell them such? Pathetic. Don't. If you do this to me, or any other woman that makes it clearly obvious they're in a relationship, you're laughable. If you feel the need to tell a woman you've unsubscribed or whatever just because she has talked about having a boyfriend, you don't deserve to have a girlfriend. If that's the only value you see in somebody is whether or not you can date them. Even if I didn't have a boyfriend, I wouldn't be interested in just some random internet commenter. If you think lesser of people for playing calming games, like, oh, that's a woman's game, or that that's all women play, you lead a sad life and you need to reflect on why you think the only real games are the violent ones. If you think women play games for male attention, you're dumb as hell. A lot of us have been playing since we were literal children. Honestly, in my case, it was both of my parents' interest in gaming that got me and my brother involved. I still look fondly back on the notes my mom took while she was playing the first Zelda. If you were one of those that told me to respect everyone or got mad because I titled a video called Respect Women or Face My Sword because I thought it was a funny play on what had happened in the video. It wasn't even to take a social stance. <laughs> Would you say the same if I'd said respect your elders? Why is it you get upset and defensive over that? Are you so dense that you think saying respect to one group or that a certain group matters means completely disregard the others? That's not how it works. That, that's never been how it works. If you think I or any other woman that makes videos or streams is only including their webcam because they're trying to prey on viewers by playing up the cute or pretty girl act, rather than just for the fact that many people, definitely myself included, are very expressive and a lot of how we communicate is non-verbally, consider do you do that to male creators? Do you look at Markiplier and say the same thing? He's using his looks to get all of his views? Yeah, of course you don't. It's like, <laughs> I, I know most of you are lovely people, so don't mind my rant too much, but it needs to be said. And as I've said, I've just been so sick of this type of behavior. And I know speaking up about all this all is just going to exhaust me more so, but we can't be silent anymore. It may take me a little bit to get back to World of Warcraft. I actually have unsubbed for the month for 
a lot of reasons, but um, I am just planning on taking a break from it. I don't want to allow the toxic people to be the only ones in that community for a game that we love and that people still put a lot of love and work into making. And really, like I mentioned, it's probably gonna take me a little bit to find the time to record lately anyways. Um, Ryder just got a new job, so I can't really record at night like I used to, which I did for one for the lighting. I'm sorry if the lighting's all weird for this, but um, for another, it's summer, it's 103 degrees out today. I'm, I'm dying up here just recording this short little thing. But yeah, I, on top of that, I've been exhausted from being online the past couple years anyway, so I kind of just feel like hiding away and working on my stories and art, so... I, I don't necessarily want to disappear, I don't want to stop making videos, I just hope you guys understand this isn't the only thing that I do, and that it tends to be more so something I do for fun. I do it when I feel like it, and, you know, if I'm exhausted, I... no point. I just, I wanted to do this to tell my stories and to make friends, and I'm really happy I've gotten to do that, but the toxicity does get to me and I need to take a step, step back every now and then for my own sake. But yeah, I've ranted enough. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're leaving off right where we picked up. We were kind of just doing the introduction to Legion in the last episode, talking to our demon hunter friends, retrieving the Eldrachi Warblades, getting the Fellhammer back, a whole bunch of stuff. And at the end, we headed off for Stormheim, but didn't quite make it there because it was getting rather long. And I'm pretty sure we still have a bunch of stuff to do on this ship. So I figured just go ahead and start that on a new episode. But yes, here we are on the ship to Stormheim. This is the most powerful I'm ship in the fleet. Not just any ship, it is a flying ship, given Sky Admiral. We are going through the air. You must be wondering what all of this is about. Please, walk with me. I have some final preparations to make before we set sail, and I know that your presence will inspire the crew. Will it? I feel like I'm gonna threaten them a little bit. People don't seem to like me Show very much. Me. I don't know why. How- Storm how is this threatening? The pillars of creation. The Aegis of Agrimar. Rykul mm -hmm. legends speak of a trial. To conquer this trial is to prove one's worth and lay claim to the Aegis. Impressive, aren't they? The new guns could bag a wyvern at full speed from 300 meters. Definitely in Go ahead, air. have a look. All right, I'll inspect the guns, I guess. It seems like I just fired it again over there. I am so sorry. <laughs> Our official uh, orders are to escort you to Stormheim and ensure your success on this trial. Unofficially, however, we have another mission. Okay, suspicious. I always forget just how much taller night elves are than humans. Oh my god. The Seventh Legion, the I toughest men and women the Alliance has to <laughs> offer. They too come on direct orders from the king. Yeah, give them a little salute. Three days there ago, the Forsaken Fleet set sail from Durotar. Heading straight for the Broken Isles. We think Sylvanas Windrunner herself may be among them. We are to track them from a safe distance. We may engage, but only if the situation demands. I strongly suspect the situation will demand it. It had better. I am not in the habit of tracking prey unless I intend on killing it. Okay, so there's a little bit of history Preparations here. are nearly complete. Please, make yourselves comfortable. That um, those of you that haven't played World of Warcraft wouldn't really be familiar with. I have made one worgen just to experience the worgen intro because Ryder really loves the worgen and Gilneas, and I do too now, though I don't really care to play as a worgen. This is the leader of the worgen. While he might just look like a human, he is a werewolf person, which is just a werewolf. <laughs> I love him, can I just say? But um, if you didn't know, Sylvanas, uh, not only has she killed off so many night elves, but also the worgen. And, um, may I just say, I do not accept Sylvanas simps here on this channel or anywhere. <laughs> Me and my homies hate Sylvanas. She is a very controversial character, if you guys didn't know. But yes, Gin has every reason All to I do, not like I do her. For so, Gilles. are you with us? That I am. The Skyfire is prepared to make its way to Stormheim. Should we become engaged, I will require my best fighters on the front line. This includes you, Demon Hunter. Alright, well. 
We're getting some new armor soon. That's good. But yeah, see, we had a whole other mission I kind of forgot about until the end of the last episode, so it kind of needs its own thing. Is that it? <laughs> well, hello. Yes, we have run into some battle. What a surprise! It is the World of Warcraft, after Any all. Any luck contacting the fleet? It's no use! The weather systems oh, around no Stormheim are too strong. I can't get a signal through. <laughs> Cease bombardment! Well, it looks like we need to go towards the guns. Does it matter which Man one? For this one. What do we got? Fire high explosive and rapid fire. Okay, uh... I just see a mountain. Maybe this wasn't my best choice. We'll, go to, we'll just go to the middle one. It's probably the one it wanted us. Yeah, we have a little bit more freedom this time. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, rapid fire, please. I, I don't think I'm gonna get any of you. Did I? Three, amazing. To be fair, they move quite fast. <laughs> just gonna aim generally for where they're at. Try our best. Maybe another little rapid fire, you know? Oh, they're above us now. Hmm. But yeah, I'm realizing that doing a World of Warcraft series is- Oh, hi, you're on the boat! <laughs> but, um, I am realizing it's a little bit difficult because you guys aren't going to get the entire context because they're really bad about putting the story behind, like, books and comics and all of that. And of course, there's been so much content before this. It's like, I'll do my best to explain, but obviously I'm kind of new to it myself. I've been reading the books and everything, and I feel like I'm pretty well caught up. Especially because my boyfriend is a huge, huge lore nerd. Where am I going? I should probably figure that out. Oh, it says right here to head below decks and use the Skyfire Parachute to board the Forsaken ships and defeat their captains. All right. <clears throat> Missed that just a little bit. How do I get below decks? Oh God. I'm lost, amazing. Oh, it's right there with a big arrow over it. Wow. <laughs> You don't have to keep pointing me. I, I feel dumb enough. All right, here's the parachutes. I don't suppose we're controlling it. No, we're not. All right. Could have just used my wings there, but you know. <laughs> Guess we are just take the fight straight to you. You are a little bit beefier than the demons we've fought so far, but that's fine. Still not too big of a deal. You're gonna hit us with that, but no. Every ship if we have to. Oh, I fly on that. I was about to just glide off on my own. <laughs> but this would make more sense, huh? Watch yourself down there. That doesn't look like Westfall stew in those cauldrons. No, nope, certainly not. Hi. Got two of you on me, that's fine. This gives me more opportunities to heal. Havoc demon hunters are not very good at um one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> combat all the time because we just don't really have any way to heal unless if we kill something so warning you now that's not gonna be my strong suit i need little dudes to be able to kill Er sylvanus come out little coward yes uh hi oh a couple of you on us again okay well you just Jumped away. I guess we'll kill you and get the help. Oh god. Or just get stunned and pelted. Oh no, you came back. How nice. Well, I'm gonna take that health. <laughs> okay, you're starting to hurt a little bit. Thanks. Do you mind? Right? Too late. The dark lady is already yeah, gone. Of course she is. That's what she's good at. Run it away. And your ship is already doomed! <laughs> the Skyfire is being overrun. Come on, we have to help. So many bats. Yeah, yeah, there's just a few. Hmm. They're trying to bring the ship down from the inside. Volatile flares removed. Great, okay. Hero! Get those chemical flares away from the ammo! I'm trying, but man, do I have just a few things on me. We're fine. Sometimes we're just gonna have to get a little dangerously low. It happens. I know I have blur, but I didn't feel that threatened. <laughs> just toss all of these. I don't know where we're tossing them, but 
Apparently we're getting them off somehow. This is a good angle I have on the fight here. Wimps! They are just corpses after all. Sorry, Forsaken Flames. Alright, one more. I guess we'll go over here. There's a lot over here, but we have our I-beam back, so... Let's blast them! Got this too. So see, we're good at taking out a lot of little dudes, but... What, what did you just do here? Come on. Letting it rip right in the middle of our fight? How rude. Oh, that wasn't even one there. <laughs> There's one over here, though. Just that. Oh, Nathanos. Great. Yup. Not a great situation, huh? Oh, hi. Please don't shoot again. I like that guy. This guy is the biggest Sylvanas simp of them all. Hate him a whole lot, too. You have no place in this world. You call us monsters? How rich. Stop holding back, old man. Show us the real you. Yeah, show us that you're a furry. Why was he just standing inside of him? Did we kill him too fast again? I don't know. Things are being a little wonky. And we're dead! Great. Love that. <laughs> I have wings. I could have just jumped off and bailed at any point and glided away. We'll be fine. But I'm sure we're gonna wake up stunned on the ground anyway. Menacing! Please stop! <laughs> ah! Okay, that was weird. Didn't appreciate it. My eyes hurt. Well, it's good to see that we all survived. I don't know if we were- Oh, I didn't mean to move that. Didn't know if we were supposed to grab like a parachute or something or if something else was supposed to happen, but it seemed a little off. <laughs> it seems like you were spared the brunt of the explosion. If only Greymane were so lucky. Ah, uh, okay, no, we didn't glide away. That's great. Also, uh, <laughs> poor Gen. Oh. Also, he's only apparently level 17. Good to know. On your feet! I already am. Like, come on. I'm standing here. We better get a move on before the Forsaken are on top of us. All right, so that's 100% upgrade, so I guess we will go ahead and go with that. And we got a level, nice. Glad to see you survive the crash. Unfortunately, so did most of the enemy's boarding party. Just the thought of those monsters setting foot on my ship makes me sick. Wipe them out, Rindris. For my crew, for King Rin. For the Alliance. Yeah, all right. And pick up a few more Can side I help quests. You? Are you feeling all right? Say, ah. Uh, Mishka attempts to depress your tongue with a damp twig. Sorry, we are in desperate need of medical supplies here. The infirmary on the Skyfire was well stocked, but it's all scattered to the winds now. Anything you can salvage from the wreck will save lives. Can you all right, that? gather a few first aid kits. We need to report our position to the Alliance Navy ASAP. I'm building a new transponder to send a distress signal, but I need a battery from the Skyfire's communications console. You'll find the console at the top of the ship. I just hope those undead haven't put their creepy bony fingers on it yet. That's a little rude, but they did just blow up our ship, so sorry for second players. <laughs> Those jawless mooks are actually trying to salvage parts from our ship. They can't possibly appreciate superior gnomish technology. Perhaps its shiny nature is appealing to their simple inclinations. Oh my god. Calm down, overspark. In any case, I need a crystal oscillator for our new transponder. It's the shiniest part of the whole system. Bound to have it set aside somewhere. Alright, so we got a few tasks to do. I suppose we will just glide on over. Oh, I forget. I don't have the double dash. I keep trying to do it. All right, here's some first aid. Here's some forsaken to kill. Oh my god, how did you all see me? Kind of rude, don't you think? I should get out of this. But once again, pretty squishy, so. And it looks like you have our battery, so. Gonna have to kill you. Sorry, but uh, maybe you shouldn't have attacked us. Just a thought. All right, there we go. Oh, and a first aid. I guess we'll go ahead and get the oscillator because we will probably achieve our other goals on the way of doing that one, so. And there we go. Now we just need to kill a few more Forsaken. All right, one more. If I can find one more, probably up here, yep. I feel so incomplete without all my moves. <laughs> All right, we're done. Oh, I need to get my frog out. I, I walk around too much. I, I realize. I just like sightseeing, looking around, taking it in. <laughs> I guess. Don't worry about the ship. It's just wooden metal. 
Well, you seem pretty worried about them, like, walking all over it. The Skyfire lives on as long as we keep fighting. Okay, well, that's fair, I guess. Show them what Just in time. I was about to start bandaging wounds with leaves. Oh, Welcome. I cannot build a new transponder without that battery. Well, we got it for you, man. Nuts and bolts. Pardon my language. Oh, that was not an excited thing. I see. It was an angry thing. <laughs> this thing is almost as dead as the guy you took it from. We need juice and lots of it. I have an idea. All right, well, I guess we'll take this new chest guard. We're going to lose a bit of our class up, but we can always transmog it back if we want. Did you find the oscillator? Overspark examines the crystal carefully. Yup, still shiny. All right. Oversparks tiny hands move like lightning, affixing coils and tubes to the device before cramming it into a parachute pack. Put this on. Just up the hill you'll find the front half of the Skyfire, and the big nest of storm drakes it crashed into. Great. We can use the energy from those drakes to charge the transponder. You'll have to incite them, of course, but the device should draw most of the power. The probability of you being electrocuted is well within acceptable parameters. Great. All right, so that's a little dangerous. Oh, I didn't even realize you had another quest for us. The heroic men and women of the Seventh Legion stayed at the front of the ship to fight off the storm drakes while the crew evacuated. None of them have returned. Please find them. Hello. All right, well, let's head on up then. Oh, luckily we got a dude here. Just seems a little stuck. Though his eyes are open, the soldier does not respond to your presence. An electrical field buzzes around him. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I guess we helped him. Nope, can't stand yet. All pins and needles. Small fries like this are usually no problem for, for the seventh, but we weren't prepared for their electrical attacks. Before I knew it, I was trapped in some kind of static field. Couldn't move a muscle until you came along. My comrades were carried deeper into the cave. Get them out before they whelp ch or become whelp chow. All right. Well, here's one of them. Guess I'm just absorbing that. Oh, hi, okay. So I'm just supposed to take your attacks, I guess? If you wanted to actually attack me, that'd be great. You didn't- Oh, you dropped them after we kill you. Okay. I don't know if you take that- Yeah, okay, well. If we keep going along with this guy, we'll have to share. <laughs> Though I'm not sure how much of that he'll be doing, but it's fine, I can just run ahead. You bitch! I think not. <laughs> I can do that too. Maybe he just didn't know that it stole it from me. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, how dare he. I hate dealing with people. Even if he is another demon hunter. Oh, we probably should have let you done that. I don't know if that would be good for us if you just whacked us. It probably would have been good also just killed us. <laughs> we'll just try our best to get rid of you and absorb what you drop when you die. Okay, that, that's a lot of stuff. It's probably fine. Let's just target on you. Maybe kick out of that. Does it hurt to stand in that? It's fine. We can handle it. We can handle it. <laughs> we got a soul. Now what's in here? Oh, they're on to us. Okay, got some order. Resources, I think. Nothing too exciting, but... Okay, once again, I'm gonna just stand in this. I know it hurts. Just hopefully it won't kill us. <laughs> okay, maybe get out of it now. Ouch. Absorb that. Okay, so we don't really have any bandages, but I guess if we kill some of these little dudes, we'll get our health back from that. Um, I do- Rindris does take tailoring because, um, if you didn't watch the little video I had about him, he actually, um, he's a clother, he makes silk, all that sort of thing, so to play into that, I gave him tailoring. Can't find enough of the people in here, but I at least have that charged up. Now for an antenna. Can I complete the quest? No? Uh, I think I gotta mess that up. But, oh, mm, mm. I, I think that with this um, add-on, it kind of messes up every now and then. We'll just finish this up real quick. Try to find more of the crew. There's also a Pandaren monk. Hello. Why are you up here <laughs> just chilling? All right, there's more out here. Okay. Only two more. One beyond this one. Right now, I guess we'll go in here again. Another level 19. Oh, we weren't hitting you at all. <laughs> Anything new? Don't think so. Oh, we've learned a new passive effect, Throwglaive. I assume that means that this is more powerful, actually. But all right, uh, we're done with that too. Will it actually let us complete it? Maybe. Hello? Is this working? For the light, I hate these things. 
This is Mishka. Missing 7th Legion soldiers have returned to camp. All accounted for. Uh, over. Message over. Over and goodbye. And entrance. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why it's not letting me complete these. Uh, it usually does, but it seems like the add-on is having problems, so... I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I did just update. I don't know if one of the updates uh, messed it up or what. But, what is this even called again? Storyline? Reload? We'll try that. Hello? There we go. <laughs> yeah, just something messing with that, I guess. The Skyfire starboard propeller came to rest over the cliffs overlooking our camp. We're gonna use it like a big antenna and push our distress signal so far that even Mechatorx's alarm clock can pick it up. Unfortunately, it might attract some unwanted attention. We're braced for enemy contact down here at the camp. Fire up that signal and be ready to defend the antenna, okay? We will do that and let's turn this in. Don't know why it was having some problems. I guess we can go ahead and turn that back on and hope it doesn't do that again. I do prefer this, so. At least we can just reload it like that. Super simple. Okay, put that on. And. Oh, hi. Lots all of a sudden. <laughs> but that's okay. We have high beam. We're made for this. Not a problem at all. Oh, but we have some over here too. Whoa. Hi! Just stop! Just stop who hit up! Nasty! <laughs> Sounds like they're having fun. Of course I can! Wait! Whoa! Whoa! Least you conveniently made it to the cliff. <laughs> Very big dragon incoming! Oh! Uh, oh hi. Great! Hey, maybe we can like talk this out? Oh, oh, please don't. <laughs> okay, you did it. I once again not great at one on one, and you're kind of a big. Oh, we can just avoid that. Can't avoid that though. Wish I still had. Why am I not using my old? Hello. I do not know. Let's uh stop that. Is there just no no way to heal? Oh, you just flying away? All right, that's good. Thank you. Now I'm still left without my health. But, uh, at least you flew away, yeah? Um, I think they crash landed over there, so let's catch up. Oh, interrupted myself. Hmm. Outstanding work. Hey, I think I got it! I bet. Victory in battle is the only the distress signal got through. Out of its misery already. Gosh. <laughs> we'll be evacuated to Greywatch immediately. I'm afraid that, for now, you will have to continue on your mission without us. Once we are settled, I will send out recon patrols to see if we can glean the location of the Aegis. You must secure the Aegis of Agrimar if we are to drive back the Legion threat. Alright, now, what do we want to take here? Probably the boots. Do your duty, soldier. <laughs> It'll be better there. And there's a bird talking to me. Wonderful. Hi! As the raven stares into your eyes, an odd voice fills your mind. I know who you are, champion, and I know what you seek. Come to me if you think yourself truly worthy. All right. Strength alone will not win what you seek, but it will get you started. Find me near Agramar's bond, and I will put your strength to the best. We'll do that. This looks like one of the grapple launchers the local Vrykul used to scale the steep ridges in Stormheim. This could come in handy, I bet, yeah. That was a simple quest. <laughs> But yeah, I think I may go ahead and leave this episode here. It seems like it's moving on to a new little arc, so it's probably a good time. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.